Good morning, everyone. It is Christmas Eve. Porter, who comes tonight? The elf. No, not the elf. Who comes tonight? The, the Santa. Oh, does Santa come tonight? Yes. Are you going to get presents? Yeah. Oh, oh, boy. So I've just been sitting here playing some Play-Doh with Porter. We're making all different kinds of shapes. We have finished our Play-Doh advent calendar and I was so glad to have it done because then I, I could it. finally put I all the Play-Doh away and I could like actually have my table back. Hang on, Porter wants me to make him some kind of shape. Which one? The star? Sorry about that. Anyway, so now I have my table back. This used to be like covered. Hang on. This used to be covered with Play-Doh from the advent calendar and then the books and Oh, it's just so cluttered. I just, I hate it. I'm honestly so ready for all this Christmas stuff to go away. It just feels like it's so cluttered and it's just, I don't like it. It's making me anxious. So anyway, we got done with that. I put all the Play-Doh away. And then of course, once I got out the Play-Doh container, cause I just keep it in like this little, this little oh, table for the kids. As soon as Porter found it, he all of a sudden wanted to play with the Play-Doh. So that's what he's been doing and I've been helping him. But I need to clean cause everyone is gonna come over to our house tomorrow morning for Christmas morning and watch the boys open presents. And I feel like my house is a mess because we've been stuck inside. We're still under a level two. If you saw my vlog from yesterday, we got a huge snowstorm as did like the whole country, winter storm Elliot. And it was so cold. I think it never got into the positive degrees. It was always negative. And even this morning it's negative two, negative three, I think. I'm looking at my new Echo that Anthony got me to see what the temperature is, but it says negative two. It's still super cold. The wind was really bad yesterday, blowing snow everywhere. And so I think they still haven't cleared the roads. So we're still on a level two. We're not supposed to be leaving the house. Hopefully that gets lifted soon because we're supposed to go to my parents' house tonight to do Christmas Eve festivities. I need to clean my house today and get ready for tomorrow. I have all the presents and stuff ready to go. So I don't need to worry about that. Just need to set it all up tonight once the boys go to bed obviously so we don't have too much going on today for christmas eve which growing up i was trying to remember like what i did as a kid and growing up we would do a sibling gift exchange in the morning when i was little we got one gift for each sibling and there were six of us so i had to get five gifts every year and and then I would get five gifts in return. As we've gotten older, we've just done a sibling, like pick name out of the hat, and then you just get one person, which is a lot more doable. Especially because we include the extras and stuff in it now too. So like Anthony's there and all my brother-in-law and sister-in-law. I think my kids are just too young to do the sibling gift exchange. Maybe we'll start that next year. We'll see. So I don't have that. And then also as a kid, we kind of just chilled for most of the day. I think I would like help my mom bake whatever she was making for the Christmas party that night. And then we would always go to church at like four. And if you go to church on Christmas Eve or Christmas, you know you have to get there like an hour early if you want to see <laughs> because everybody goes to church on Christmas Eve. So we would always go super early to church. And then as soon as church was done, we would go to my grandparents' house and they would have a huge Christmas party with all my family and extended family and friends. It would be a huge thing. Godparents would give their godchildren a gift. So I'd always get a gift from my aunt and uncle. When I was really, really young, they had a Santa come and give each kid one gift. That hasn't happened for a long time because all of us are older now. We don't really need a Santa, but that used to happen. And that was super fun. And then we'd all just like talk and eat a lot and hang out and then go home and go to bed. It's been a bit of a transition now that my siblings and I are all adults now. We don't go to my grandparents' house anymore because they live in Toledo, we live in Columbus. And so we're still trying to figure out like what exactly like yearly traditions we wanna do. For Thanksgiving, we've got it pretty much down because we do the big meal. And then of course we have our fun baking challenge game and then our wine tasting game. So those are fun. But with Christmas Eve and Christmas, it's always changing because some years, some of my siblings are with us on the Christmas Eve and some of them are only with us on Christmas. So it's all just kind of different. So we're still trying to like figure out what exactly we want to do. 
So this year, my parents just want to go kind of more casual for Christmas Eve. We're going to be missing like two, three, three of my siblings. So I think only half of the siblings will be there. My mom just got like catering from Chick-fil-A and City Barbecue. And we're just kind of going to chill and hang out, I guess. I think some people are going to go to church. I don't know that we will just because the snow and the roads are really, really bad. So we might just only go to my parents' house and just kind of hang out. I don't think there's really much like that we're gonna do. We do a year in review video. Each person makes like a five minute video to like recap their year in review and you can include pictures and videos. Usually we do that on Christmas Eve. We might move it to Christmas. I really don't know when we're doing that. So that's definitely something we usually do. And then we had this wooble competition where you had to crochet this animal. And I tried for two hours and could not could not get it, couldn't even get it started. So I gave up on that, so I'm losing that competition. My brother Patrick's really good, I bet he's gonna win, because he's already made like two of them, no problem. I don't know how, I don't know what the secret is, he needs to show me. So we do have that, and then of course we have sibling gift exchange, but that won't happen till tomorrow morning when all of us are together. Sad, hard with the holidays, but we're only all gonna be together, all my siblings and my parents, for just tomorrow morning. And then my sister is leaving. And then I think all of us will still be together, just not my one sister. She's going to Cleveland with her boyfriend and his family. All these parts coming and going. Anyway, I don't even know if you guys care about all this, but we're going to my parents' house tonight. We'll have dinner, chill, do whatever. And then the party's gonna come to our house tonight and everyone's gonna help us set up Christmas after the boys go to bed. My mom is got the kids a, uh, a new kitchen for their Christmas gift, and so we're gonna set it up, and I think the kids are gonna be stoked. I was finally able to pitch our old kitchen that we've had for years that I got for like $10 off of like Walmart. It was like plastic and horrible and it was so tiny. So now they're gonna get this upgraded, super nice, fun play kitchen. So we're gonna set that up and um, put all the presents out and it's gonna look awesome. Lots of stuff going on. And then of course tomorrow's Christmas and of course I will vlog. So it'll be fun, but um, I'm just not that a big Christmas person. I used to be when I was a kid because it's all about when you're a kid. Now that I'm an adult, it's just not my favorite. I just, the whole holiday season I could do without. I'm always happy when it's over and back to normal and so much pressure trying to get everybody together and all the holiday hoopla and the kids are overwhelmed and stressed and it's just a lot. So I'm just not as, not as into Christmas as I thought I would be as an adult, but that's okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to cleaning. I've stalled too much. <laughs> I need to keep going because there's a lot of messes with this house. So I'll pick the camera back up later today. Okay, so we finished icing the cookies. I only had enough powdered sugar to do two colors. So we did green and red. I was gonna do white, but then Green and red looked more Christmassy. So the boys helped me with maybe one each and then I did all the rest. So it was very messy, but they love taste testing the frosting. Do you like frosting? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. Don't get any more or you get a teddy bear. Yeah, I told them they had to stop because they were eating too much of it. But here's our cookies. So they're all ready for Santa tonight. So that's good. I'm still cleaning, I already did a load of dishes. I feel like I'm gonna need to do another load. I need to do the bathroom. So yeah, still a lot to do, but we're getting there. We're in the positive degrees now, it's two degrees. So we're not in the negatives anymore, but it, it probably with the wind chill, I think we still have a wind chill and the wind chill probably makes it feel like it's negative out. And we're still under a level two. Hopefully that changes soon. We're but still at level three. Now we're level two, but thankfully Anthony has a Jeep. And so that has four wheel drive because my Civic does not. And so I don't think we would make it very far in my Civic. So we're gonna take Anthony's car tonight to go to my parents' house. The only bummer on that is the car seats are in my car not Anthony's, so we're gonna have to move them and it's just a pain to have to do, but that's what we have to do, so that's what we're gonna do. So anyway, slowly getting things ready. This is the twice level. The twice level. And up there is the so level. Yup, 
So the boys have their Christmas on. They both have their red. And they were wearing their hats. I don't know what happened to Porter's hat, but Gray's still wearing his hat. Ears and cheers rhyme. Ears and cheers. Yeah, they do rhyme. Say hi. Hi. Where are we? At Grim's house. We're at Grim's and Grim's house. What are you guys eating? We're eating breakfast. No, it's not breakfast. This is dinner. Yummy. Yummy. So we're here waiting on everybody to come from church. But we're here getting the food ready. We took Anthony's Jeep and made it here. Almost no problem at all. Just at the very end, there was some sketchy roads. But other than that, pretty good. So we're getting the food ready. My mom has lots of food. I don't think we'll go hungry. And we've been getting out the Chick-fil-A nuggets so that we can heat them up. And obviously my kids already took some. <laughs> so that that's all ready. And then looks like we got some city barbecue stuff too. Some pulled pork and chicken, some buns, and then some yummy desserts and meat and cheese tray. So we're excited. I'm watching the dogs because they'll try and they'll try and steal the kids' food, and I don't want that. Gray, go back and eat your food. Okay. Okay. Right. Like okay. No, nope. by the fireplace where he's gonna come down. Go put it by the fireplace. Private. I thought we are going to meet them at the Christmas tree. Oh, at the fireplace, because that's where Santa comes down. There you go. I never see it. Perfect. Yep, okay, now we got to go get the milk for him. And we got to get some carrots for the reindeer. Daddy, like carrots? Daddy, like carrots? Daddy likes carrots. <laughs> Go get this to Mama. Yeah. Go put this on the I, table I, the, where you guys eat. I want the milk. Yep, bring it over here. I want milk. Porter, 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 you come here. You can get the carrots. Okay. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Should we pour some milk for Sam? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The carrots, the Just the baby ones. Just a couple. Okay. Oh, well. There we go. <laughs> that's gonna want a couple of milk. Yeah, you think that's enough milk for him? Yeah. Okay, careful. Be so careful. I don't want you to spill it. I want to carry it. Okay, be careful. Oh, and Porter's got carrots. Okay, go put it on the plate, Port. Right Buy next to the cookies. <laughs> He's so serious. All right, we got cookies and milk and carrots. Say, bring us lots of toys, Santa Claus. We bring us lots of toys, Santa Claus. You we need... bring us lots of Santa Claus. <laughs> you think he's going to come? I hope so. I hope so, too. Okay, we better go upstairs and brush our teeth. Well. And get ready for bed. Because Santa won't come un until you're sleeping. He sees okay. you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. Yep, so we got to make sure we go to bed so Santa can come. Mommy. All right, let's go. Mommy. Okay, Gray. Yeah. Are you ready for bed? Yeah. Who comes tonight? Santa. Santa. Is there going to be toys and presents? When you walk in and walk to rest. You bump into a dead end when you can rest with it the correct way. It lead you to a first trap. Okay, gotcha. All right. All right, it's time to go to you bed. You said gotcha. Gotcha. Santa <laughs> only comes if you're sleeping. Yeah. So we need to go to bed. Santa comes when you're sleeping. Yep, he won't come if you're awake. So you have to make sure you're sleeping. Okay. Okay, are you so excited? Okay. Okay. Have to he's listen and see if you can hear him when he lands on our roof tonight. <laughs> so you have to listen for him and the reindeer. <laughs> Good night. Yeah. I see it. No, lay down. Okay, good night, boy. I want to see it. Who's coming tonight? That's Santa. Santa. 
Yes, you gotta go in there now. Lay down. I want to see it. No, it's bedtime. Lay down. Bye-bye. I love you. Put the blankies on. Okay, lay down. I'll put the blankies on you. Lay down.